It may be for political reasons, social reasons, or simply because we've seen the train wreck that happens when a new leader treats their employees in an unethical and inhumane way, but a mass social media migration is happening right now. The birds have flown the coop and Mastodon is the destination. This is DJ Shaleen with an update from Golden, Colorado on the mass exodus to Mastodon. At the highest of levels, Mastodon is simply an alternative microblogging platform that is similar to Twitter. It is decentralized, open source, can't be sold, and is built on a network of servers that are owned by community volunteers. It's like time traveling back to the days of internet service providers, or when companies or individuals manage their own websites. All you need to do is join a server to get started. Are you concerned about privacy? My thoughts are that my banks and physicians and existing social media companies have more information than what I can microblog about. Still concerned? Start your own server. What happens if the server you're on goes down? Simply move to another. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Well, a lot of users think that as well. Before the acquisition of Twitter on October 27th, active Mastodon users sat at just under 400,000. And that number ballooned to almost 1.6 million active users by November 13th. That number continues to grow on a daily basis, and any reporting on the actual count will be outdated minute by minute. Last week, after the now infamous announcement that was made at Twitter, for employees to commit to working long, hard hours or take a severance package, I decided to make the move to Mastodon myself. After about a week on the platform, it feels like a breath of fresh air. I immediately noticed a complete lack of advertisements and felt a greater focus on community. When you join Mastodon, you choose a server and you can pick one that aligns with the interests you have. For example, if you're an InfoSec, there are InfoSec servers to join. Enjoy discussing open source software? You can join me at Fostodon. These servers are interconnected, so you can search across what has become known as the Fediverse, but you can also filter down to just your own community and read targeted content, the content that you picked. All of this may sound complicated, which is why I curated a collection of articles that accompany this update. You'll find more information on Mastodon as a whole, how to onboard yourself, and a great article by the Electronic Frontier Foundation covering the security and privacy concerns that you may have. I've also included a link to my own Mastodon profile, and I'd love to hear what your experiences are as you start your new journey with Mastodon.